NBA champion and basketball superstar Draymond Green recently traveled to Israel as part of a propaganda effort to legitimize Israeli oppression. Israel has often used international celebrities for photo opportunities to convey support of the state of Israel and quell criticisms of its atrocities. Draymond was invited on the trip by Friends of the IDF, a nonprofit headquartered in New York City with branches throughout the United States. This organization, Friends of the IDF, helps support and recruit for the Israeli military. It sponsors Israeli troops with family living abroad. They also assist Israeli forces and their actions by supplying things like mobile showers, snacks, underwear, and cell phone chargers as they did in the 2014 Gaza assault. Its national board has included folks like Jared Kushner, whose family has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to the organization. Draymond visited the Israeli Border Police's counter-terrorism unit and shot baskets on a court donated by the Michigan chapter of the Friends of the IDF. These are the same forces being used to murder Palestinians who are demonstrating for their freedom. Draymond even took some target practice with the Border Police, practice that is used to oppress and ethnically cleanse Palestinians. <laughs> Draymond's activities are an endorsement of Israeli forces and their oppressive actions. As Israeli snipers are mowing down innocent Palestinians to maintain a tyrannical apartheid state, Draymond gleefully posed with one of those very rifles. This is just as puzzling as it is shameful, because Draymond hasn't been inactive in political expression and has tried to portray himself as someone who will stand against injustice. My point was to just start a conversation that may need to be had. Mark Cuban would never know or understand how it feels for me, a young black African American, to turn on the TV and see what, what happened in Charlottesville. He'll never have that feeling. In terms of whether you'd go to the White House. If you had to do that again, would you make the same move and say, I don't want to go, we're not going? I think, well, I know uh, we would make the same decision and not go. And it's, you know, it's not about not seeing uh, Donald Trump or, um, you know, anything else that goes with it, but more so about what we stand for. Um, and in order to affect change, you have to stand for something. And if you go about it the same way, you do the same things you'll do if everything was normal, then you won't affect change. Our goal is to affect some change, with, use our platform to do that, and that's why we opted not to go to the White House. So how can he pose with the Israeli president who facilitates such heinous crimes against humanity? You may be asking, why cover this? Is it really that big of a deal? Well, celebrities have enormous power. They have the attention of massive amounts of people. And it's very likely Draymond just doesn't understand the horrors perpetuated by Israel. So let's educate him. Share this video, message or tweet at him. Let's get more voices, powerful voices, on the side of justice.